I totally lost myself in this uh, symphony of colors. You need more paint. You spread all the pigments out of the paper so the colors become weaker. But it's so exciting, it's so great to not only work with a, with a hand or arm, but now you're working with your whole body. One of you uh, had a question, it was about overworking a painting, if there is a chance that I will overwork one of those paintings, and there certainly is. Uh, and I found this an interesting question, maybe it's in the same range about the comments I read of you about um, my choice to show the mistakes the faults, the things that go wrong as well. Uh, some of you wrote that there are a lot of YouTubers who only show their success and I think that's really clever to do and I can imagine that um, you choose to do that. Uh, but as you probably see in my videos, uh, for me it's different. Um, these videos are not only about success. If it were only about the success you don't see it is success anymore you need to see where it goes wrong and you need then you can see where you do the good thing to let it succeed um, and for me every day that's the same so uh, to answer this question about overworking a painting i'm doing these series now uh, besides the commission paintings and um, in this series, I found new ways. I'm finding new ways. Uh, it's really great to explore a new subject and um, things go wrong. Sometimes things are going really well. And I want to give myself any opportunity to overwork these paintings. Uh, the explanation why is the same. If I don't have any opportunity of, to overwork these paintings, then I don't know where the, the point will be to overwork the painting. Uh, if I don't check this, I will stop too early with, in the process, being afraid to overwork the painting. Why, why shouldn't you overwork a painting sometimes? You need to know where this point is. Um, it's easier to do that when you are painting every day. I was thinking about this in the car this morning and um, so you need time, you need uh, your own space. This is, this is my work but this is my playground too. I want to, to feel myself like I felt as a kid. 
it's work, but it's playing as well, playing with paint and give myself the opportunity to make mistakes and to learn uh, why I think these are mistakes. What is going well? What is going wrong? So these videos, yes, they are not only about success, they are not only about how to do it well. I'm, found, I'm finding this out every day. But you keep, you keep on trying. So it's not that I'm going home tonight and that everything went wrong. There went things wrong and there went things really well. And again, that's because uh, I use almost all my time to, to do this. And uh, using time is experiencing as well. And uh, the truth is that when you are well experienced in your, in your habits, then uh, of course you, you know better when things are going wrong. But if you use this knowledge all, all day, then it's, it's getting really boring. So yeah, giving yourself the opportunity to do things wrong, I think in everything in life, please, please give yourself that opportunity and uh, move on. Just uh, laugh about it and uh, when things go wrong, things go well too. It's about faith and uh, not about uh, yeah, it's about faith and playing. And there is something to tell uh, about why the chance is really there that I can overwork these kind of paintings, these, these marching band paintings. And that's because um, I told you about how this subject for me, uh, how it came to me. So St. Nicholas is coming to town every year in winter and it's busy, crowded with, with kids and, uh, and parents. And then this marching band comes in and last year there was it was it was a clear day the sunlight was beautiful and uh, i was really captured by how this marching band suddenly was walking in the sunlight with their own shadows behind them um, but again the subject is the light the, the movement the atmosphere it's not a marching band um, we see this because this marching band reflects this light and are moving all the same together at uh, the rhythm. Then you see the rhythm in, in, a, in a static uh, view. Um, well, so these are a lot of things. Light, shadow, atmosphere, movement, crowded people, noise. Um, when I paint this marching band only as a marching band you I, I don't feel this this mood this light this noise so i remember this this crowded chaos and i want to start in this rhythm in those paintings so i really take the time to uh 
let the watercolor drip and find its way on the paper on this bigger, larger sizer that's uh, sizes that's easier to do. Uh, and I wait for that moment where I can see what I want to paint in this mess. That's exactly what happened over there in our town, in the little town where we're living. When I saw this marching band, I suddenly saw in the chaos something beautiful. Uh, and I found, I f I'm finding the, the same moment in the painting process. So I'm making noise, I'm making chaos, and then suddenly I see it. Um, I don't want to compare myself to the painter Anselm Kiefer, a German painter. Um, we have a, a, an exhibition of him here in The Hague right now. I have to go, I have to still to go there, I haven't seen it yet. But I checked him on YouTube. You will find a lot of videos about him. Anselm Kiefer, a totally different painter than I am. But there are some videos where I saw him working in, a studio, in his studio. He's not alone, he has his staff. And there are t <laughs> trucks driving through this uh, workspace. And he tells all his staff what to do. And I saw machines uh, putting grit burning dirt on the canvas and he let everyone know where to stop, where to put it, where he needs more or where he needs less. And sometimes you see burning stuff on his painting. Um, and for me that, that was really fascinating. It was fascinating because um, you see a painter who is, who is working together with his staff and with the, with the paint well, the mud, the, everything he uses. So it's not that he knows what to do, but he is, he is it's the same story that I'm telling a lot. He is, he's just watching. And then he sees what's happening and he knows where to change things. So he, he's, at, he's at the steering wheel. Um, there is a road, there is a way. And he finds this way. Maybe you know what I mean. It's, it's hard for me to explain this in another language. So it's a game. Uh, and for me, that's watercolor painting. It's different than oil painting. Oil painting is, uh, is the kid that always listens to, 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 to their parents. Um, watercolor paint is, is different. It always will go its own way. And I want to learn what the watercolor is doing. Now in winter time, it's really cold here, it's, it's in the morning, it's Monday morning, I just arrived. It's very cold here, I think it's, it's 7 or 8 degrees. So now the, the paint is doing different things than this afternoon when it's, when it's warmer. Winter time is different than summertime as well. So you have to anticipate all the time. I, I love this um, because it's, it's, it's an adventure. It's not that I always do the same thing. I have to anticipate. And um, maybe that's so fascinating in those videos I saw about Anselm Kiefer. Um, it's also some kind of childish playground. He's just messing around with, with grit. And uh, the results are here in, in Holland in the museum and, and everywhere in the world. And that's really exciting because he, he's building something with this coincidences and uh, heavy, heavy stuff. It, it really looks dangerous. I don't know, but I think they are even walking in those orange uh, reflection jackets in the studio because there, there are a lot of machines and uh, they are working really hard. Um, and and he will overwork his paintings definitely. I think he will. In some interviews, I heard him talking about that for him a painting even is is never finished never so it's hard for him to uh, let him go to the museums i think he even sometimes um, is working on paintings that have been somewhere in a museum in the world and then they're going back to his studio and then he, he just gets on with with painting um, 
Yeah, so that was fascinating to see that this paper, that was another question of yours, what kind of paper are you using? I'm, I'm really, really happy with this uh, Arch, Arches French paper, 640 grams. This is, this is almost bored, so I don't have to stretch it, I don't have to make it wet, I just put it on, a, on, on this wooden board and then I start painting and I start, I, I can drip water on it, everything, and it stays flat. Um, sometimes I, I scrap the paint away and the, the paper is still all right. So this is really good, strong, heavy paper. And then you can just play, you can mess around. Um, and it's only, f only great when you don't forget what you're doing. So I, I know what I want, I know what, I, what I've seen over there. While well, this marching band was walking into the, our town. I know what I what I saw, I know what I felt, I know what it was like, and I will get there just by messing around and then there comes this there will I will meet this this tipping point where I spoke earlier about and then I know to do those few things to make even from this mess a beautiful painting. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe things are going wrong, then we have the, the water side of the paper. No problem. And then it will go better. So it's about playing, experiencing and um, finding your way by losing the way sometimes. When you don't lose the way, you don't see your way anymore. So give yourself the opportunity to lose your way sometimes and have faith that you will find your way again. Because you don't even know your way. You, you know your way by walking or moving. And when you're just doing the same thing all the time, you're not moving, you stand still. You know what I mean? But uh, I think it's so important to move if you want to develop. So move, fall, stand up, try again. Uh, see your mistakes and see your success.
I just got a phone call from the shop that told me that the large sized watercolor paper has arrived. It's uh, one and a half meter and uh, he told me that there is uh, a wooden board as well to keep it flat and straight. But uh, I think it will be hard to get it upstairs here through the stairs. Um, so I will walk uh, to this shop, it's, it's 100 meters, it's 5 minutes walking from here. Um, I have to get some linen and um, uh, oil paint as well for the next com commissioned house portrait. It's really, really a nice subject to do with uh, an old house water and um, uh, trees. Really a, a summer, it's a summer vibe, green trees and a red house. So I will start this one uh, this week. This one was finished and then I showed it my girlfriend on my iPhone, a picture, and then it seemed not finished at all. Um, she all she's not a painter but she looks very well and uh, she showed me there is something difficult in this person over here. Actually this was a woman with red hair. She was beautiful but uh, she didn't suit in this marching band uh, uh, scene. So I made a musician from her as well. Um, I think she saw this so it's a bit too rough. Certainly this left side. So I will do something on that as well. There is something I like in this scene. There is hard light, very hard bright light and there is dark cold and warm shadow. But that's not the, the, the thing that I prefer. What I really prefer are those softer tones. So there is something between those dark shadows and the hard lights and that's this, this and this and this. And I can imagine that when I'm doing this twice bigger, I can focus more on those half tones. And then we create even more depth. I'm going to get the paper.
I changed a few things here to uh, start on this larger size. I think it is not a good idea to work in this size on the table because then you don't have this overall view, the distance is not large enough. So I want to be able to put it on the floor sometimes so that I can stand over here and see what's going on and paint and stand up again. Um, it's no problem when the wall gets messy uh, so I put the paintings over there for a while so they won't get messy uh, with paint um, this is a good way um, to start drawing it always starts with drawing for me so I can draw over here and then the watercolor paint will be done on the floor maybe sometimes on the table but I, I, I expect more most of the time on the ground 
and then I can walk around it, maybe walk over it, the paper is strong enough. Uh, it took some time, but the next paper will be only be glued on this board and then it can start. I don't have to think about how to change things over here. I only have to put the easels over there and then I can start working over here. It's great, eh? I like this.
So the first washes are done. Um, you need more paint because the move, movement is so uh, massive, you know, and so fast that um, you spread all the pigments out of the paper so the colors become weaker. So you need more paint, sometimes less water, to keep those colors strong. And of course I need uh, bigger brushes. So I used in the beginning these two, these are my biggest. Um, but even these were too small, so I just bought this one. It's the same series as this one, Da Vinci Casa Neo, one of my favorites, but then a, a bigger size. Um, and tomorrow I will need this one. This was exciting. Uh, it's I, I, actually I want to to go on today, but it's dark and I have to go home. Uh, I think it's the first time since the academy that I'm working on this size. And at the academy, I work with oil paint, so that's totally different than watercolor paint. But it's so exciting. It's so great to not only work with a, with a hand or arm, but now you're working with your whole body. And I think that makes you tired as well, but the, the effect, even now in the beginning, is so cool. It's like you're painting, it's like how, how it feels the first time. Because you have to find it out again, how to put paint on a paper without um, too much water. So, and, and, and to find out how you have to move this brush to put the paint on the well way, on the good way on the paper, because it's it's different when it's larger. And I didn't expect it, so it's uh, yeah, it's really exciting. It's it's great.
Well, I really had to hurry uh, today. Um, I totally lost myself in this uh, symphony of colors. And um, this is the first one in this size. So it was a nice adventure this week. And um, it really feels as if you have always been writing poetry and now you've, you are working on your first novel. I know uh, the next step. So I can't wait till it's Monday. Thank you again for joining me and uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you for your comments and uh, see you next week. <laughs>